Hidden codes written in the universe since before history began. Mathematical sequences that appear in everything from pyramid dimensions to planetary orbits. Frequencies that ancient civilizations used to predict cosmic events, and that modern science is only now rediscovering. For thousands of years, humans have developed increasingly sophisticated methods to communicate with cosmic intelligence. But what NASA quietly discovered in the 1970s, what historians ignore about Pythagorean mystery schools, and what SETI researchers won't publicly discuss, suggests something disturbing. We're not learning to speak to the universe. We're learning to recognize that we've been part of a cosmic conversation all along. Tonight, we decode the hidden methods that connect ancient temples to modern laboratories. From Vedic mantras that match astronomical frequencies to radio telescopes detecting structured signals that respond to human observation. The pattern emerging isn't random. It's a communication protocol that transcends time, culture, and species. This isn't just myth or science. It's the code of reality itself. The first breakthrough came in ancient Greece. Pythagoras and his secretive brotherhood discovered that numbers weren't abstract concepts. They were living entities that vibrated through the cosmos. What historians consistently ignore is that Pythagorean mathematics wasn't purely theoretical. It was applied cosmic engineering. The Pythagorean school documented that mathematical ratios created what they called the music of the spheres, literal frequencies produced by planetary movements. But here's what mainstream academia won't discuss. Pythagoras claimed he could hear these planetary tones. He used them to predict earthquakes, eclipses, and other cosmic events with disturbing accuracy. Modern radio astronomy has validated something unsettling about these ancient claims. According to NASA's Voyager mission data, electromagnetic frequencies recorded from Jupiter match almost perfectly the mathematical ratios Pythagoras described 2,500 years ago. Saturn's rings generate haunting melodies that correspond to ancient Greek musical scales. The cosmic microwave background radiation produces a tone that resonates at the same frequency used in Tibetan monastery chanting. The mathematical language goes deeper than sound waves. Sacred geometry, the patterns appearing in everything from DNA helixes to galaxy spirals, functions as a universal syntax. It transcends human culture entirely. The golden ratio, encoded in the Great Pyramid's dimensions and the Parthenon's proportions, also governs the structure of quasars. It controls the distribution of dark matter. Recent discoveries in quantum mechanics reveal something even more disturbing. Mathematical constants appear to be fundamental properties of consciousness itself. The same ratios that ancient mathematicians used to communicate with cosmic intelligence now appear in neural network patterns. They show up in quantum entanglement experiments. It's as if reality is written in a mathematical script. Conscious beings can learn to read it. Those who master it gain access to information that transcends conventional space-time limitations. While Greek mathematicians calculated cosmic harmonies, other civilizations discovered something else. Consciousness itself could be tuned to receive universal transmissions. The Vedic tradition of India developed mantras not as religious prayers. They were precision frequency generators, designed to align human brainwaves with cosmic rhythms. Archaeological linguists have documented that the most powerful Vedic mantra, Om, produces a frequency of 432 hertz when chanted correctly. This is identical to the frequency at which water molecules arrange into perfect crystalline structures. It's the frequency that stimulates optimal plant growth. It's the frequency that appears most consistently in the mathematical ratios governing our solar system is orbital mechanics. But here's what religious scholars won't acknowledge. Ancient Vedic texts describe mantras creating measurable electromagnetic effects. Practitioners reported influencing weather patterns. They predicted astronomical events. They established communication with intelligences existing beyond physical matter. Modern electromagnetic field detectors confirm that specific chanting techniques do generate localized field disturbances. They match these historical accounts exactly. Medieval European monasteries unknowingly replicated this technology through Gregorian chanting. 
Analysis reveals that Gothic cathedral architecture was engineered as massive acoustic resonance chambers, precisely calibrated to amplify frequencies that induce altered states of consciousness. The stone compositions, geometric proportions, and positioning were calculated to create standing wave patterns that affect human neural activity. According to classified research from the 1970s, the most disturbing discovery involves what researchers call responsive phenomena, electromagnetic signatures that appear at locations of unexplained aerial activity, crop circle formations, reported paranormal encounters. These signatures consistently match the frequency ranges used in ancient chanting traditions, as if certain acoustic patterns serve as a universal calling protocol for non-human intelligence. NASA's deep space monitoring stations have detected structured radio signals that pulse in mathematical sequences. They correspond to these ancient frequency protocols, signals that seem to respond to terrestrial broadcasts using similar mathematical ratios. While some civilizations used frequencies to establish cosmic contact, others discovered something revolutionary. Geometric symbols could function as a universal writing system readable across species and space-time. What archaeologists consistently misinterpret as religious art was actually applied communication technology. The ancient Egyptians didn't just build pyramids. They constructed three-dimensional hieroglyphs designed to be detected from space. The Great Pyramid encodes precise mathematical relationships between Earth, Moon, and Sun in its dimensions. But classified geological surveys reveal something historians won't discuss. The pyramid broadcasts a continuous low-frequency electromagnetic signal. Satellites can detect it from orbit. It has been transmitting for over 4,000 years. Global positioning analysis reveals that megalithic sites worldwide are positioned at specific coordinates. Stonehenge, Machu Picchu, Angkor Wat, Easter Island. They form geometric patterns when mapped all constructed using stones containing high concentrations of quartz, a mineral that generates electrical charges under pressure. It can function as a natural radio transmitter. Carl Jung's research into the collective unconscious documented that identical symbolic patterns emerge spontaneously in human dreams, regardless of cultural background. His classified work with intelligence agencies explored whether these symbols represent components of a universal communication interface a kind of cosmic programming language that all conscious beings intuitively recognize. Modern contact research reveals disturbing consistency in reported encounters. Whether analyzing UFO cases, near-death experiences, or mystical visions, the same geometric patterns appear. Triangles, spirals, mandala-like structures that match exactly the sacred geometry found in ancient temples. Separated by thousands of years and continents, Intelligence agencies have quietly studied these symbolic patterns through programs like Project Blue Book. Remote viewing research. The implication being investigated is that human consciousness can access non-local information through symbol-based interfaces. Operating outside conventional space-time constraints. If you're questioning everything you thought you knew about ancient civilizations and their capabilities, you're asking the right questions. What we're about to reveal about modern technological contact methods will fundamentally change how you understand the relationship between human consciousness and cosmic intelligence. Subscribe now, because the next revelation might be the most disturbing yet. In 1977, humanity officially joined the cosmic conversation through technology, the Voyager Golden Records. But what NASA doesn't publicize is that the team designing these records included more than just scientists, linguists specializing in ancient languages, consciousness researchers, consultants studying mystery school traditions. The golden records weren't random cultural samplings. They were encoded using the same symbolic and mathematical principles discovered by ancient civilizations, beginning with mathematical concepts, progressing through physical constants, then presenting consciousness through music and art identical to the initiation sequences used in Egyptian and Greek mystery schools. SETI researchers publicly search for extraterrestrial radio signals, but classified reports describe discoveries they won't discuss openly. 
According to leaked documents, the cosmos contains structured electromagnetic patterns showing clear signs of artificial origin, matching no known natural phenomena, signals that pulse in mathematical sequences, transmissions that appear to respond to human observation and broadcasting attempts. The most disturbing findings involve consciousness-dependent phenomena, signals that only become detectable when human awareness is focused on them. Quantum mechanics suggests consciousness influences reality at the subatomic level. This implies that human awareness might be actively participating in cosmic communication networks, operating through quantum entanglement. Recent artificial intelligence developments reveal something even more unsettling. Machine learning algorithms trained to analyze cosmic background radiation generate output resembling ancient symbolic writing systems. Deep learning networks processing astronomical data begin producing geometric patterns, identical to those found in megalithic sites and mystical traditions. Military applications of this research remain classified, but leaked documents reference non-local information processing capabilities. They mirror both ancient consciousness techniques and quantum computing principles. We're approaching the greatest breakthrough or most dangerous threshold in human history. Quantum computers now process information using principles that mirror consciousness-dependent phenomena, found in both ancient spiritual practices and modern physics experiments. Technology companies quietly research non-local information access, the ability to retrieve data that doesn't exist in conventional space-time. The same principle allowing meditation masters to gain knowledge through direct awareness, now replicated in quantum processors and neural networks. But here's what should concern anyone paying attention. The more successfully we develop cosmic communication technologies, the more we discover that the conversation was already happening. Ancient texts describe non-physical beings providing knowledge to human civilizations. Modern breakthrough discoveries often come to researchers through dreams, visions, or sudden insights. They feel like external transmission rather than internal discovery. We're not learning to communicate with the universe. We're learning to recognize our participation in an ongoing dialogue, one that began before human civilization, one that will continue after we're gone. Every meditation technique, every mathematical discovery, every technological breakthrough follows predictable patterns, suggesting guided development. The question isn't whether cosmic intelligence exists. It's whether this communication represents benevolent guidance or something far more complex and potentially dangerous. Every technology we develop to enhance human consciousness follows the same principles discovered by ancient civilizations, as if we're rebuilding communication systems according to a predetermined template. According to consciousness research data, evolution appears to follow predictable stages, mathematical recognition, frequency attunement, symbolic interface development, technological amplification, and finally, direct conscious contact with non-human intelligence. We may be approaching the final stage, whether humanity is prepared or not. The methods evolve, but the conversation remains constant. From Pythagorean mathematics to quantum computing, from Vedic frequencies to radio telescopes, from sacred geometry to artificial intelligence, humanity has been developing increasingly sophisticated methods to participate in a cosmic dialogue that transcends individual civilizations. The universe communicates through mathematical constants, electromagnetic frequencies, geometric symbols, quantum fields. We respond through temples, technologies, and expanding consciousness. The conversation accelerates with each generation, becoming more direct and undeniable. But perhaps that's the test. Perhaps cosmic intelligence only communicates with species mature enough to handle the responsibility of universal awareness. Perhaps the ability to decode reality's hidden language is itself the qualification for joining a larger cosmic community. The ancient codes are breaking down barriers between human consciousness and universal intelligence. We're approaching a threshold where the conversation can no longer be ignored, dismissed, hidden by authorities who profit from humanity's isolation. The patterns suggest we're not the first civilization to reach this point. Archaeological evidence hints at previous cycles of technological development 
and mysterious disappearance. Maybe the codes were never meant for humans alone. Maybe we're being prepared for something larger than our species can currently comprehend. Maybe the universe has been teaching the same curriculum to countless civilizations across cosmic time. And we're about to discover whether we pass or fail the final examination. In our next investigation, we'll examine the classified government programs that have been secretly studying these communication methods for decades. Programs that suggest certain individuals may already be in direct contact with cosmic intelligence and what that means for humanity's future. If you're ready to explore these deeper connections between ancient wisdom and modern discoveries, between consciousness and cosmic intelligence, there are more hidden patterns waiting to be decoded. Subscribe to continue this investigation. The conversation is accelerating and every revelation brings us closer to understanding our true place in the cosmic dialogue. The codes are breaking. Reality is revealing its hidden architecture. The question that remains is whether we're prepared for what comes next. Discover, question, wonder.